what is up my lovelies um oh, you guys are some so today i'm coming to you with a piercing update um it has been let me check my calendar it has been one two three four five days since i got my skin diver dermal whatever you want to call it it's the same type thing at my chest i'm gonna give you guys um Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm giving you guys a close up um, of it, but if you can see it, it's small. It's not like you really see it like that, but I'm giving you guys a close up of it in a minute. But I'm basically just coming to you with this video to give you, um, like, basically, like an update, like a pros and cons, like a how it fell on a scale of one to ten. You know what I mean? Like that type of video. So, like I said, I just got it up five days ago. Uh, I recorded me getting it done. You guys should have already seen that video. Um, I'll try to link it up there for you guys so you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, it hurt a little bit for me to get it done. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say it was about a... Oh, da, 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 da. It was about a 6. It was about a I would say but it only hurt like getting it done like it didn't hurt after like after I got it done like it was fine like I actually had later that night I actually forgot that I had got it done but um yeah it didn't hurt after it just hurt during like and if you guys don't know the process like they take like a little instrument type thing like a hole punch kind of and they like they'll hold your skin and they'll like dig it in and twist it and it's like literally taking out a chunk of your skin and like that part of the piercing like I actually heard it like chomping like my skin if that makes sense like it was gross but like I heard it cutting my skin and then they take like a clamp thing and they like try they twist it twi twist the jewelry in and yeah and then after she had to like push it which is that's the part that really mostly hurt like she had to like push it in with her finger like with a glove on obviously but like push it in to make sure it was in and all that but yeah that's the part that really mostly hurt um i guess that part of it was more like an eight out of ten than the actual piercing um like an eight or nine out of ten like that part really hurt but um yeah let me just show you guys real quick when it's right here simple little dot dermal but, um, yeah, I got a, oh, snap. Oh, I'm kicking over my water. Okay, but, um, I was saying, I got, um, light blue. I don't know if you guys could tell the color, but I got light blue. She had a couple colors. She had pink, light blue, clear, green, red, purple. And I think yellow. But yeah, I picked light blue. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know what else. Like I said, I told you like the pain tolerance. The only thing that um, so far that has happened though, like it doesn't pus or anything like which is good. But like uh, two days ago, was it two days? Two days ago when I was looking at it, I seen that one of the sides was like trying to come out like the inside it's supposed to be inside like i seen it trying to come out so um yesterday i went back and um got her to push it back in which hurt again um but um other than that it's doing fine like i don't i asked her why it was probably coming out but she said like my skin probably you know was just trying to reject it a little bit because it was like obviously a new piercing my body wasn't used to it so it was just pushing it out, you know. Um, but other than that, like I said, it's doing good. It's healing fine. Like I can see like scab, like a scab on the on the hole or whatever, but that's probably obvious, you know, it's a hole. So, um, but yeah, other than that, like when I lay to the side and like my boob, I guess, like like leans on it. I don't know how to explain it, but it hurts a little bit. Like, far as that, so normally when I, like, go to sleep, like, I have to lay, like, make sure, like, 
my, like I'm laying like this basically so like my side shoulder boob whatever you want to call it it doesn't weigh like way down on it because that hurts um so yeah that's that um it was $60 to get it done it is a skin diver not a dermal I don't know if you guys know the difference but like a skin diver has like a like a triangle bottom and like a dermal has like a flat plate with well like little holes in it dermals are more permanent than skin divers which I'm actually like my uh, piercing lady she only does skin divers she doesn't do dermal so I didn't have to like think about which one I wanted because the lady like I said the lady that I go to only does skin divers so that's what I got um but dermals like I said they're more permanent because the how the plate is like how it has holes in it like your skin grows through the holes to lock it in place and with the skin diver like I said it's like a triangle cone like at the bottom so your skin kind of like grows like around it but it doesn't like lock it into place so they're like a little less permanent like they're more easier to take out you know what I mean like and you'll have less scarring like if you decide to take it out or if it falls out or whatever whatever like you'll have less scarring because you don't have to like cut it out of your skin if that makes sense which that scares me to even think about so I do like that part about the skin divers but if you where you go get pierced like if you have the option of a skin diver or a dermal that's all up to you I do feel like the skin diver is a little bit better because like I said you don't have to like cut it out of your skin if you want to get rid of it or anything um it's just like I don't know it just seems scary you know when you think about it like <laughs> but um yeah but it's doing good so far I haven't had any problems I love it it's so freaking cute I'm thinking about if I want another one or not I'm not sure yet but I, like I kind of want like a matching one like here or here I don't know if I want it on the bottom of the top but I'm thinking about it I don't know yet but um, I think that's about it. Nothing much to say about it. Like I said, I only had it for like five days now. So I don't really have that much of an update or anything to say about it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, guys.